Hey, this blog is about um, the conversion of Asian birthdays to U.S. birthdays. If you or a family member were born in Asia, and when you came to the United States, or your family member came to the United States, and you were asked for your birthday, there was maybe, I don't know, things may have changed now, but there was maybe a little bit of confusion because the birthdays in Asia, well, at least I know in Korean culture, they're based on the full, the the new moon. So, for example, if my birthday is December 15th, or let's use January because it's easier. I don't have to do any math. But let's say my birthday was today, January 5th. Um, and let's say I was born in Asia. When I came to the U.S., and I was born here in the U.S., y'all, but I did go I, just in case because people are stupid. But let's say that uh, my birthday is January 5th in the U.S., but I was born in Asia. January 5th is not my birthday. Because when I came here and whatever officials wanted to document me now as a U.S. citizen or immigrant or whatever you want to call it, when they asked me that, that question probably really confused me. Or I told them, probably with a big smile on my face, my birthday is five days after the new moon. And they probably looked at me and said, well, what do you mean by that? After the new year, my birthday is five days after the new year. So they gave me the birthday of January 5th. That is not my birthday. My birthday is five days after the new year, which is measured by the new moon. So whenever the new moon is, five days after that, that is my birthday. My birthday is exactly what I told you my birthday was. It's not five days after your new year. It is five days after the new moon. That is when my birthday is. Public service announcement on Asian birthdays. Thank you. <laughs>